Welcome to the Mobile Fabric video tutorial series. In this particular video, we will provide an overview about standard reports. Kony Mobile Fabric also provides a rich set of reporting and analytics capabilities by simply including a Kony Mobile Fabric SDK. A large set of standard metrics is automatically captured on the client side and sent to the back-end service. This data is available to the business users through 15 standard reports. Let's walk through them. So from a client analytics perspective, we can see the user sessions of the application on a country, on a per country, on a map of the world. This way you can see which geographical locations need to be catered to and where your major hits are coming from, from an application perspective. From a US standpoint, this data geolocation based information can also be further drilled down into a state basis. And this lets you see which state is using your application the most and which isn't and so on. We also have a chart which lets you view the application usage breakdown on a channel like desktop, mobile, or tablet, or application type like mixed mode, hybrid, native, or spa, and platform. So this lets you view across the different types of uh, channel, app, and platform what is being used and how much on a pie chart. The application usage summary lets you view a summary of user sessions or user requests in a pie chart group by application. In the same environment can have multiple applications that are supported and this lets you view the share of each of the application from an end user perspective as to how they are actually using it. The application usage detail report lets the user view the session information on a timeline and it can be aggregated on a daily, weekly or monthly basis to let you know the share of users that each of your application is having in that time range. From a server side perspective, we gather data on the service request from each and every application request to get the data from the server. And this data is again tracked on a timeline and can be accredited by day, week, or month. The service duration report lets you view the total number of calls for application service, including the minimum, maximum, and average time taken during the duration. The data for each of the service requests it can also be aggregated by R to let us further drill down to see any change in response times at peak traffic and so on. The duration detailed report goes a step further and lets you split and see the response time for a service into its component parts like post-processor, response processing, external calls, internal processing, and pre-processor. We also have a set of reports to see the user engagement with the application. The active user report, for example, lets the business user view the active users of the application in the given date range. The data is classified into named and anonymous users the request perform uh, report lets the application usage be viewed based on what forms are being viewed from the application. This lets you know what screens to concentrate on and what screens can be removed from the application or get less a priority. The event summary report shows the data of any event. An event can be a touch, like a button click or a form entry or exit or service request or a gesture or even a simple network call. Any application event will be tracked from the application automatically and you can see the slice of each type of that particular event like if it's a form entry which form was entered or if it's a gesture what gesture was used most and this data can be count classified absolutely by visits which is count absolute and sessions as in how many different user sessions the same event occurred or devices as in how many different devices perform the same event or user, which is a named user. The event activity, similar to the event summary, lets you view the activity over a date range. And uh, this data is again classified by visits, sessions, device, or users. From a business user perspective, we also have a report to calculate, to find the frequency of your application usage, like whether the user is logging in every day, or is he using it only once a month, or using only once a week. So you can classify the percentage of your users and see, okay, this many people are using it every day and this many are using once a month. So you know how many are your frequent customers. We also have a report called repeat users, which explains the sticky factor of your application. Basically the sticky factor means, say a sticky factor of 15% means 15% of your users from the previous 30 days use this application on a particular day. And the remaining 85% are either fresh users or somebody who hasn't logged in, in the last 30 days. This data is also classified into named and anonymous users by the same criteria as explained earlier. We also have a graph which lets you see new user adoption by seeing a new user report. So this typically says, okay, before marketing, 
uh, application is not used much so it has uh, low usage and once the marketing wave went ahead you see a steep spike and after that the application's new users that is people who are registering for the first time uh, gradually comes down. We also have reports which give information on erroneous conditions that happen in the client application. The application error summary report lets you view the count of any erroneous conditions that occur in the client application on a time series graph. The exceptions are exceptions that are handled in the application code and the uh, application developer chooses to send them as an event to the backend. Any unhandled exceptions that occur in the JavaScript code of the application will be treated as errors and caught by the global error handler of Kony and be reported as errors. Any condition which results in the crash of the application, information will be gathered as a crash and sent on the subsequent launch of the application. The application error detail report contains detailed information on the error event types. Specifically, it tells information such as whether it is an error exception or a crash and what is the brief message of the crash such as an invalid uh, function or a invalid parameter sent to a function or a null pointer exception with what time the crash occurred in case of uh, errors it also gives you information on what is the file in which the error occurred what is the line number in which the error occurred and in case of for crashes we also get crash report can also be filtered with a variety of input criteria so as to allow the user to view data specific to what they choose to filter the data and view it. So the standard filter criteria uh, looks like as shown here uh, with the start and end date which is used to set the start date range within which the day data can be viewed. Uh, we can also sort the, or filter the data using platform if you want to choose for a specific platform just like iOS or Android and the channel is used to filter data for a particular channel like desktop or mobile or tablet. The access mode determines whether it is a, a native or an SPA or a hybrid access mode. Uh, the data that is viewed can also be aggregated by um, uh, aggregation duration in the time range like day week, month, or even hour for some more fine-grained reports. The filter criteria also includes the set of applications that are available for the chosen input range as well as the clouds that the account the user who is running the report has access to. The values in the filters are dynamically populated based on the values chosen for the filters above the same. Now let's move on to see a quick demo. For example, here we have a basic uh, e-commerce app called as the Kony Store, which can be used to search for a particular product and look at the list of products available for that chosen category and the products for the chosen category and even uh, drill down and see product reviews where it is applicable. So now let's try to look at the data for this particular application in a heat map on a map of the world to see where the users for this particular application are coming from. So again, we choose a date range, the cloud here, which is Q environment, and the app that I'm trying to look at the data for, for the number of sessions. So we see that United States and India seem to be the only countries that are having range, and uh, this is expected for a uh, sample app that we have built with only India and US having uh, offices for our Kony. Now let's try to look at the data from a client perspective and see what are the popular devices that are using this particular application. For seeing that, we try to run the sessions per device report, which gives you the breakdown in terms of platform and channel. And let's try to see from a request perspective for this month, what the data looks like. So we see we have a pie chart that is written to us, which gives us the information that the iOS native has occupied the highest number of uh, records uh, followed by Android and uh, hybrid for mobile and native tablet Android occupying a small slice of the pie. For server analytics, Kony Mobile Fabric stores every service call from the app and records the latency of the service across five phases. The custom preprocessor logic executes first. The latency of connecting to external system is calculated as an external duration. The process or transformation time when the payload is optimized for mobile is calculated as the parse duration, the custom post processing logic that executes last, and the internal duration, which is any remaining time used to execute the end to end service call. The operations admin can view this data by using the request per service or service duration or 
the service duration detailed report. Now let's try to run the service duration detailed report and try to view how a particular service which is retrieving the product list has been working over the last month categorized by weeks. So here we can see that the external call seems to be taking the bulk of the time for each service request and we can see that the same service call has not been performing exactly the same way across all the time and depending on load it either goes up or down. We can see that on, on an average the service call seems to be returning within 400 milliseconds and uh, we can see that push processing is taking 26 milliseconds for this duration, response processing is taking 22 external calls and uh, internal processing and pre-processing. Now suppose I want to see okay external call is something that is having network and other limitations and not something that I can actually uh, optimize from a code perspective. So let me try to remove the external calls from the perspective and just look at areas that I can from it as a developer try to look and fix. So by just clicking on a field it disappears, clicking it again makes it reappear. Now I can see the fields that are uh, in the developer's control. Again internal processing is probably something that Kony Studio writes not exactly in developer's control so I'm removing it that as well. Now I can see that the push processor logic seems to be occupying the maximum time taken and this is probably the area that the developer needs to concentrate and optimize so as to make the application service respond faster. The business user can also track user engagement by analyzing the user journey through the application by reporting on various user events sent from the client app to mobile fabric. The business can identify which features of the app are used most often or identify areas of user drop-off. The event types can be and entering and exiting a form all touch events like button clicks, service request and service response as well as uh, gestures and uh, orientation changes in the application. Let us try to see how to use this report to find how many users entered a particular flow but did not finish it. So for this scenario because we are using Kony Store app let's try to check how many users entered uh, the checkout flow but did not complete it. So for this let us just run a weekly aggregation report for a form entry and the date range for the whole month and generate a report. So here we can see that many people come to the app to search for a product but only a small percentage of that or 30 percentage are trying to add a particular product that they search to the cart and an even lesser percentage actually checks out the product. So this gives the business user an easy way of checking how the end user is actually interacting with a particular application. The application error detailed report is a tabular report that shows details of the particular error that occurred. For example, we can see that the particular application test MF had an error and the type of error was an invalid argument sent for a function. It occurred on a particular time and it occurred in the particular file called analytics and in the line number 126 and it also gives you information on what is the type of error and what is the source ID, current form ID, it says it occurred in the form home and so if it was a crash you would have details on the crash report as well. For information on custom reports, view the custom reports overview tutorial. For more information on Kony products, please visit developer.kony.com.